Ryan Ryan the Stranger with the Monday Word. My Monday Word for you is honor that produces glory. Wherever there's no honor, there's no glory. Uh, no honor will bring a dry climate, a dry place. I wrote a book called The Yaakovet Anointing. It's my latest book. And I write different mysteries from the life of Moses' mother, Yaakovet. One of the chapters is the mystery of honor. Most people don't understand this correlation between honor and glory, but glory unlocks revelation. It unlocks promotion. It unlocks healing. You can't get in the glory of God and not be healed. Uh, when you look at the life of Moses, he was a man with unusual glory. But to trace the origination of the glory that was on him, we've got to go to his mother. Yaakovet's name means this, honor of God or God is glory. You see, Yaakovet, Moses' mother, was a woman of honor. In a time when culture said, you better kill your firstborn son, she said, that's not the word of the Lord for my life. I'm going to honor God if it costs me everything. And she took a brave step to preserve and protect her son Moses, who had a deliverance mandate upon his life. Many times the previous generations have already established honor that affects the next generation and unlocks the glory of God. And so Moses' mother was a woman of extreme honor. She was a woman that put the will of God first. Honor and glory go hand in hand. When you honor God by putting him first and endeavoring to walk in his ways, refusing to leave what he's told you, promotion is going to come forth. We've got to understand in many ways the kingdom is a backwards kingdom. You sow first, then you reap. Uh, the first are last and the last is first. You give your life away to Jesus and then you find your life. It doesn't make any sense, but it's a backwards kingdom. Those that walk after honor say, God, I seek to honor you first. I seek to do your will. I seek to put your plan first. Jacobed absolutely put her family on the line. She put her life on the line to honor God. She laid it all on the line because she was looking to obey God. Honor unlocks obedience. Proverbs 21, 22 says, he who follows after righteousness and mercy finds life, righteousness, and honor. I believe God is calling us to live a life of honor and unusual honor will produce unusual glory. Out of the glory, you're going to get revelation. You're going to get strength. When the children of Israel came out of Egyptian bondage, uh, under the glory of God and the glory of cloud. There was none feeble. Their bodies were healed. They had silver and gold. There was provision unlocked. But it all began because of this woman, Yaakovet, because she honored God and she raised her son in the fear of the Lord. She even surrendered him uh, to a place that made no sense into a seemingly ungodly kingdom. But it was the instruction of God. The whole to the whole way was a test for her, but she honored God. And I want to tell you today, as you honor God, unusual favor is going to be unlocked in your life. I want to pray for you. Go find my latest book, The Jacobed Anointing. It's with a J. Some people say Jacobed. Go find it. It'll bless your life. Father, I thank you today for honor. And where there's honor, there is glory. I pray that we would be people of glory, that we would be people who walk in the glory, that host the glory, that love the glory, that contend for the glory. And Lord, that we would be honorable people because of in the midst of honor, there is glory. In the name of Jesus, amen.